Now this is one of the smartest projectors that has probably slipped under your radar. This is the Xtremi Elfin and I've been mightily impressed. Let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Now I do really like a projector that can be used for multiple purposes. The Elfin from Xtreme is small enough to be used as an outdoor cinema. You can use it for a whole wide range of uses and I'll show you just some of those in today's video. Okay, it's time to get this thing unboxed and I can show you what's exactly in the package. Now, I have to say, I wasn't holding out much hope for the quality of this, but I have been incredibly pleasantly surprised. This feels and looks very good, exactly what you would expect from Xtreme nowadays. They do produce an incredibly well-built product, and if anyone out there is thinking that looks a little bit like a Mac Mini, well, it is almost identical in terms of its size, it's exactly the same form factor, and they do look like a very very similar build quality. Anyway, back to the actual Xtreme Elfin. Now on the back you'll notice that there's just one HDMI port and one USB port and also then the power supply. There is also an auxiliary audio out so you can connect this to a speaker to give it a little bit more punch than the built-in speakers provided. There is also a nicely packaged accessories box where you have all of your manuals and your warranty information as well as your power supply and also your controller. There's no batteries in this pack so make sure you've got a couple of AAA batteries. I have to say I love the design of this projector. It's so sleek and simple, just very, very minimalist. It does have the Harman Kardon sound system which is okay. It could do with being a little bit punchier maybe but the design of this is just four centimeters thick and it weighs under two pounds, under one kilo, just 0.9 of a kilo. There are a couple of screws on the bottom which will give you some type of angle of elevation. However, it would have been nice to have seen a nice little kickstand which would just pull out. However, you can fashion your own device very easily or you can use the tripod mount and fix this to a tripod which gives you a lot more flexibility. Any of you that are worried about setting this thing up, don't worry at all. Follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be set up in no time. The remote control is very smart. It has that volume focus switch at the bottom, which operates the rocker in a different way. That bottom little bar there, up and down, either it will control a manual focus or it will control the volume. I really like that, it's very simple. There are even a couple of screens which will guide you through the focus and keystone and give you information about that controller. So any information that you need, you just select the different thing and it will tell you exactly what it's doing and how to do it. So this is how the screen setup takes place. A light source is sent out, there is a sensor on the front of the projector which reads that light source and then detects whether there's a screen and will automatically fit it to the size of the screen. You do then have that precise control where you can make fine adjustments. Now where this gets stupidly clever is if there is something in the way, for instance, or there is a door or a window, the light source will then detect that and then adjust the screen size and obviously the screen shape and position to make sure it's the optimal size for your location. It is just so clever and I just don't see this on many other projectors. And even though this is the cheaper projector, it's still there. Now the operating system on board is Android TV and so therefore you don't actually need to have anything else connected to the projector, it will work out of the box like this. However Netflix is not supported natively so you will need a workaround whether it be a software tweak or a Fire Stick or an Apple TV for instance to get that to work but other than that everything is working brilliantly. Those of you wondering whether you can use the Elfin as a presentation projector, well, yes, you definitely can, and even in a light room. Look how light this room is, and I've connected it up to my Mac Mini, and as you can see, if I swing around, it will show you that I've got this at a probably about 75 to 85 inches screen, and it is incredibly bright and incredibly vivid. So, yes, this is not going to be a problem. I do have to say, I was surprised myself at how good this looked. This is just a 1080p projector, but I was easily able to get a screen size of way over 150 inches, probably 200 inches outside, and it still looked really good. And in a bright room with lights on, as you can see, I've got the light by the window there on, I've got the main headlight on, and I've got the two lights either side of the screen. As I spin round, you're still getting a really nice image. Now, obviously, it's not as bright as the brightest 3000 ANSI lumens. This is just 800 ANSI lumens, but it's still perfectly watchable. And in a second, the lights will dim and go out, and you'll be able to see how well this does. So I really want to show you this in its worst conditions and also in the best conditions. So now I've turned off the light that was on that far window and as you can see it looks better already and I've turned out the main light and if I turn out the lights either side then you can see it's just the one light left now and when that goes off 
everything looks absolutely stunning. It really is surprisingly good how well this tiny, tiny little projector does. Here's another clip now with it on my 100 inch screen. And remember, this is just a tiny, almost handheld projector producing this image. So it really is surprisingly good. So obviously this is as good as it's going to get because this is a perfectly dark room, but in a second I will turn the lights on one by one, the two side lights and also the main light. And so you'll be able to see how this projector does in some lighter conditions because not everybody obviously wants the projector on with a pitch black room. But I don't think it's doing too bad a job at all. Here's another photograph that I took when I had this outside and as you can see it's looking pretty damn good. This is a sound recording of the speakers on the projector recorded from 1.5 meters. So for me, it wasn't the fact that it didn't get loud enough. It certainly did get loud enough. It was just a little bit tinny, as you'd expect with just two, three watt speakers. So I definitely recommend if you're going to be watching a movie and you want some loud noises, then definitely hook it up to another via the auxiliary port. Now again, somewhat surprising, this projector is not too bad for gaming. Okay, you're not going to get the same quality as maybe on the Xtreme Horizon Pro 4K or the Xtreme Aura. That is another level of gaming capability. But this does have remarkably low latency when put in game mode. It goes as low as 26 milliseconds, which, you, you know, for any projector is actually pretty good. Now, you do have to have a trade-off between the low latency and also keystone correction, which is no bad thing in my opinion. Effectively, what you'll notice is that when you go into the menu options and go to image mode, if you choose to select game mode, then you've got the option of standard or boost. If you choose boost, then it basically says that you can have the low latency, but we're going to turn off auto keystone correction. And so therefore, you'll be left with a standard screen depending on the position of your projector, which in this case is not bad at all but then you're getting the benefit of the super low latency. So before I give you my summary, just another couple of key features which I've not mentioned, and that's one is MEMC, which is motion compensation, which gives you those smoother images when you want them, so you can choose to have that on or off. You've also got fast boot six seconds, which is where the projector will turn itself on in just six seconds from a warm start. And as I've obviously gone through already, there's all of the other major features. So this really is a small little compact projector that delivers fast Far more than its chassis and size suggests. So who is this projector for? Well, I think it's for the person that wants a projector to do pretty much everything, that won't necessarily have a home cinema setup, but wants to watch occasional movies, that will want to take it to do presentations occasionally, or certainly take it out and about so it's portable, but also get a good experience watching some good quality footage in big, dark rooms. So this can be anything from an outdoor cinema, to an indoor cinema, to a work projection device, or just something that you play games on. This really is a one-for-all solution. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I'll leave links in the description so that you can check out the very latest price of the Xtreme Elfin, and I'd really look forward to seeing you on the next review.